All right, in this video, I'm going to try to answer a question from Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. All right, Jessica's question relates to a 45-45-90 triangle. So real quick, let's remember the pattern. Um, the pattern for a 45-45-90 triangle is that the, uh, the, it's isosceles. These two sides are the same, and they're called legs. And then, of course, we have the hypotenuse um, is over here. But I'm not going to call it the hypotenuse because the relationship is that the hypotenuse is equal to the legs um, times radical 2. So it goes leg, leg, leg radical 2. That means that if the legs were, let's say, 7, then I would have 7. 7 and then 7 radical 2. All right, but Jessica's question is this. What if they tell you that um, the hypotenuse is 8 radical 3? All right, radical 3 has nothing to do with a 45-45 90 triangles. So what if they threw this in here? Um, if they had said 8 radical 2, then this problem would be very easy. Uh, if the hypotenuse is 8 radical 2, then the legs must be 8 and 8. 8, 8, 8 radical 2. But that's not what happened. They told us that the hypotenuse is 8 radical 3. Now we're supposed to somehow take this and find out what the legs are. And uh, so here's how you can do it. I'm going to move this over for a second. Let me put the pattern back. We know that the pattern goes like this. Leg, leg, and then for the hypotenuse is always leg radical 2. That's a fact. Now if they tell us that the hypotenuse is equal to 8 radical 3, that means leg radical 2 equals 8 radical 3. We can just set this expression equal to the value that they give us. So we should be able to solve this expression for the leg. Now how would I do that? I would divide both sides by radical 2, get leg by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides of this by radical 2. That way these cancel out and I'm just left with leg equals. So it's just a matter of what is this? 8 radical 3 over radical 2? I mean this is the answer but we need to simplify this in some way. Now traditionally we are not allowed to have a radical in the denominator. So we always do something that's called rationalizing the denominator. That just means we're going to somehow get the radical out of the denominator. And uh, the way we usually do that is to multiply the radical by itself. Now that's legal as long as I multiply the numerator and the denominator uh, by the radical 2. All right, because really I'm just multiplying by 1. Anything over itself is 1. And that doesn't change anything. So, um, now, getting back to business, radical 2 times radical 2 is just 2, which makes sense because radical 2 times radical 2 would equal radical 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. Um, but a long time ago, we memorized that if you multiply radical times itself, the number sort of comes out. Uh, meanwhile, in the numerator here, I have my 8. It's going to keep that. Now, radical 3 times radical 2, go ahead and multiply those together and get radical 6. All right? So the leg, you know, these over here, um, both equal 8 radical 6 over 2. Now, right now, you might notice that I can simplify this just a little bit further. Um, I'm going to keep this radical 6, but Maybe you're noticing the 8 over 2 just sitting there, not under a radical or anything. 
there's no reason why we can't go ahead and reduce those. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then I bring down that uh, radical 6 sitting over there on the right. So the leg must equal 4 radical 6. That means um, in the end, here's the bottom line. They told us that the hypotenuse was 8 radical 3. Okay, I'm just going to bring that in closer again. The hypotenuse was 8 radical 3. Now we have found that the legs are both 4 radical 6. Okay, and Jessica, that is how you find the answer to this question. Now, we could um, check our answer in one more way, just for fun. I mean, we're finished. Um, but you know how it, it always goes leg, leg, and then this should be leg radical 2. Um, would you like to check and make sure that that's a true statement here? So we have leg, leg, and what if I went ahead and did leg again, and then radical 2? All right, because that's the pattern, leg, 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 radical 2. So what would I get from this? Um, well, I have 4 times ra uh, radical 6 times radical 2. This would give me, um, I feel like I should change colors. This would give me 4 times radical 12. Hmm, so far this is not looking like 8 radical 3. Did I make a mistake? Well, no, I didn't, because uh, radical 12 can be rewritten as radical 4 times 3, because 12 is 4 times 3. I'm just simplifying the radical 12. Um, the square root of 4 is 2. So what's about to happen is that um, this 4 is going to simplify and come out of the radical and become a 2. So now I have 4 times 2 and then this 3 just stays <clears throat> underneath the radical and oh look what I'm about to get! Do you see it happening? 4 times 2 is 8 and then there's my radical 3. So it turns out to be true even though that was a complicated thing that we found, we checked our answer, leg, leg, leg radical 2 turns out to equal 8 radical 3 just like we said. Alright, I hope that makes sense Jessica. Let me know if you have any other questions.